In the tense waters of the South China Sea, China's Fujian carrier unleashes a stealth revolution. J-35 fighters rocketing off electromagnetic catapults, reshaping naval power. But this isn't just Beijing's story. For Pakistan, it's a blueprint for dominance, building on May's aerial triumphs in a fresh Saudi shield. On Historic Nerd, we cut through the noise. How Chinese tech arms the crescent against old rivals. Stay tuned. This could redefine South Asia's skies. Recent high-definition footage from September Fujian aircraft carrier executing seamless catapult launches during its ninth sea trial, a milestone that propels China's naval aviation into uncharted territory. This 80,000-ton supercarrier, measuring 316 meters in length with a 73-meter beam, slices through the South China Sea swells, its flat deck alive with the rhythm of modern warfare. Crew members in color-coded vests, yellow for aircraft directors, green for catapult operators, coordinate with machine-like efficiency, guiding three advanced aircraft types, the J-35 Stealth Fighter, KJ-600 Airborne Early Warning Plane, an upgraded J-15T multi-role jet. The clips reveal the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMALS, in full fury, accelerating jets from standstill to 150 knots in under two seconds without the clunky blasts of traditional steam catapults. One sequence opens with an aerial view of the Fujian powering forward, escorts dotting the horizon like vigilant shadows. The deck, a vast 80,000 square meters of non-skid surface, etched with faint tire marks from prior runs, hums underfoot. A sleek J-35 taxis into position on the bow catapult. Its angular facets, serpentine intakes and radar-absorbent composites, catching the sunlight, rendering it nearly invisible against the blue. The shuttle hooks the jet's nose gear with a precise click, and power surges through linear induction motors, drawing on Faraday's electromagnetic principles to propel the 15-meter fighter forward. Tires smoke briefly on the deck as it surges, afterburners igniting in a controlled flare before lifting off cleanly, gear retracting as it banks into a climb. No vapor trails disrupt the launch. EMALS ensures smooth, adaptable acceleration for varying loads, allowing the J-35 to depart fully fueled and armed up to 12 tons, extending its combat radius beyond 1,200 kilometers. The footage transitions fluidly to the KJ-600, China's carrier-optimized answer to early warning needs. This turbo 360 degree active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar array, ready to detect up to 400 targets at 400 kilometers once airborne. Hookup complete, the launch is textbook. Magnetic force catapults it skyward with stability, climbing steadily to altitudes of 15,000 meters for six-hour endurance patrols. Anti-jam features and data fusion make it indispensable, orchestrating air battles from afar while shrugging off electronic threats. In the clips, its folding wings highlight carrier compatibility, tucking prowess. This 33-ton evolution of the Flying Shark, derived from Russia's Su-33, rolls into view with reinforced nose gear tailored for email stresses. Upgrades include WS-10 engines for enhanced thrust, composite materials reducing weight by 10%, and an AESA radar for precise targeting. The footage shows it touching down amidships. Approach steady, tail hook deploying to snag the third arresting wire, hydraulic buffers halting its momentum in a plume of smoke just 100 meters down the deck. Crew signals wave it clear, resetting for the next cycle in under a minute. A testament to the Fujian's three catapult layout sustaining 60 sorties per hour in combat scenarios. These visuals drawn from official PLA Navy releases via state media underscore the Fujin's catabar, catapult-assisted takeoff, but arrested recovery. Mastery, a leap from the ski jump limitations of earlier carriers like Liaoning and Shandong. Launched in June 2022 from Shanghai's Jiangnan shipyard, the Fujin began trials in May 2024, progressing through propulsion and navigation tests to full air operations by September. Its conventional steam turbines powered by eight boilers and four shafts delivering 200,000 horsepower push 30 knots across Pacific expanses. 
Defenses bristle. Type 1130 close-in weapon systems, unleashing 10,000 rounds per minute. HQ-10 surface-to-air missiles. And Type 346A dual-band radars tracking 300 contacts simultaneously. With a crew of over 2,000, it forms the core of carrier strike groups alongside Type 055 destroyers, projecting power beyond the first island chain. At the heart of the drama is the J-35, Shenyang Aircraft Corporation's fifth-generation stealth powerhouse. Debuting here as the world's first such jet launched via email in beyond visual range missiles, each with 200 kilometer reach and dual pulse propulsion for mid course evasion. Priced at around $50 million per unit, half the F 35C's cost, it's a scalable export star, blending air superiority, ground strike, while the J 15T bridges EROS with YJ 83 anti ship missiles and fly by wire agility. Together, they equip 29% more efficient than steam, with launches every 45 seconds and minimal maintenance, adapting to loads from 10 to 40 tons. China's independent development amid past espionage whispers shines here. No U.S. Ford class delays, just rapid iteration from 2017 Kielang. Trials span Baha'i Bay to open seas, ninth outing integrating escorts for realistic ops. Analyst views, a stunning leap per aviation experts, with J-35's palm-sized signature-breaking monopolies. Future? Type 004 nuclear carrier by 2030, six-strong fleet by 2035, China's Blue Water Era dawns, the juicy undercurrent, export potential. J-35's affordability hooks buyers, PL-15's proven punch, more on that later, seals deals. For South Asia, Fujin's shadow lengthens trade routes, Carrier groups steaming to Gwadar under CPEC. India's Vikrant watches warily. U.S. pivots accelerate. But the real edge? Seamless integration. Chinese systems sinking like clockwork. Turning trials into templates for allies. As footage loops the launches, one truth emerges. Beijing doesn't copy. It conquers. Pakistan's military landscape transformed in 2025 with Chinese advancements like the Fujin trials fueling a stealth renaissance. June confirmations revealed Beijing's offer of 40 J-35 fighters, acquisitions underway despite diplomatic denials, timed perfectly after May's aerial route of Indian forces using PL-15 generation edge at half Western costs. Layer in the September 17th Saudi Mutual Defense Pact, aggression on one deemed attack on both, and Islamabad emerges fortified, a trilateral powerhouse blending Chinese tech, Pakistani grit, and Gulf resources. The Fujian's J-35 launches, not distant demos, but direct dividends, previewing PAF squadrons dominating subcontinental skies. May 7, 2025 ignited the spark. India's Operation Sindor unleashes missile strikes on nine alleged militant sites in Pakistan, in Pakistan, administered Kashmir escalating border tensions into open clash. IIF Rafals spearhead the assault, Spectra Electronic Warfare Suites active, banking on superiority over PIF's Chinese platforms. But intelligence falters. Delhi underestimates the PL-15's 200-kilometer envelope, its dual-pulse motor, and active radar homing-piercing jammers undetected. From J-10C vigorous dragons at high altitude, PAF pilots secure locks in pre-dawn haze, unleashing salvos that arc like vengeful arrows. Three Rafales spiral earthward in flames, joined by mirages and sukhois. Six losses total, wreckage scarring valleys, unexploded PL-15s recovered as stark trophies. Reuters dubs it an intel catastrophe. Stimson Center confirms Chinese Gear's debut, training on Beijing simulators, evasion, beyond visual range locks, honed the edge. J-10C's agility danced circles around foes. This four-day fury, ending May 10th, exposed Rafale flaws, prompting Indian upgrades while vindicating Pakistan's pivot to Chinese arms, 63% of imports. The J-35 cements this victory. Shenyang's naval stealth jet, briefed to Pakistani officials in folding wings and tail hooks primed for carrier ops if needed. AES radar scans 200 kilometers, Internal bays brimming PL-15s, the same that felled Rafales, for one 200-kilometer strikes. Mach 1.8 on reliable twins, 
0.1 square meter signature, it ghosts defenses, thrust vectoring for dogfight supremacy. Jane's Logs co-production at Camera, tech transfers sustaining fleets. Bloomberg notes stock surges on the pact. Denials from Kawaja Asif, fog to dodge U.S. sanctions. But Zardari's envoy meets a firm momentum. Two wings operational by 2026, meshing with JF-17 Block 3s and KJ-500 AWACS for layered dominance. Post-May, it's poetic. PL-15 evolutions in J-35 bays, turning skirmishes into standoffs. Naval synergies amplify. Pakistan's Type 054A P frigates I Fujian blueprints. Emails infusions. Mini flat tops from Gwadar Yards under CPEC. May's Air Triumphs preview fusion. J-35s covering subs. PL-15s shielding choke points against Indian carriers. HQ-9 SAMs and Z-10 Helos integrate seamlessly. Beijing's ecosystem turning quantity to quality. The Saudi pact adds firepower. Inked September 17th in Riyadh, it elevates 1982 protocols. Mutual aid against aggression. Pakistan's nukes subtly umbrelling Gulf oil. Saudi funds greasing J-35 buys. Reuters details the bond, decades deep, now ironclad. Atlantic Council sees Riyadh hedging U.S. ties amid Yemen woes. Rand cautions Delhi, strikes risk, Saudi reprisal. IMEC roots exposed. Brookings unpacks substance. Joint drills, intel swaps. Daily Sabah hails collective shield against encirclement. Chatham House flags deterrence precedent. Iran uneasy. For J-35s, Riyadh could double fleets, fund escorts, trilateral patrols from Hormuz to Indus. This China-Pakistan-Saudi axis counters tides. Maize fields birthed it, PL-15 lethality proven, J-35 amplification assured, PAF unmatched, Navy hardened, rivals recalibrate, peace via prowess. Fujin's echoes in Islamabad, horizons secured, not just defended, 